Hi everyone, I'm Rosemarie Miller here with Emma Whitford, a Forbes staff writer, here to tell us why California's public universities are so good. Thank you so much for joining me today, Emma. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So how does the University of California system compare to other public school systems such as Texas? Well, first of all, I'd say that it's much larger between the University of California system, the California Community College system, and the California State University system, they're serving over 1.6 million students. If you compare that to Texas, which is also a very large state, their public colleges serve about 1 million students. Mm -hmm. I'd also add that the California colleges rank higher on our latest Forbes America's Top Colleges list this year. Really? Eight so of about, the University of California. Sorry? I just want to know about how many UC schools are in the top 25 of Forbes' top college list. Yeah, there's four schools in our top 25, which is a lot more than any of the other state systems. Mm -hmm. UC Berkeley, CLA, UC San Diego, and UC Santa Barbara all made the top 25 this year. Okay, so why does Forbes' top college ranks uh, benefit UC schools specifically? Yeah, so we have two measures that if you combine them, they account for about 15% of our, our rankings methodology that looks at outcomes for Pell Grant students, which are often used as sort of a proxy to gauge how schools are doing by low-income students. And so the UCs enroll far more Pell Grant students, we found, than private colleges, but also other public flagship institutions. So for example, UC San Diego, which is ranked 21 this year, they enroll about 33% of, of Pell Grant recipients compared to another highly ranked public school, uh, the University of Michigan Ann Arbor, which is number 23. They enroll about 18%. Mm -hmm. So does California spend more on their students' public school system than other public school systems? It's not quite a top spender. If you look at data from the most recent state higher education finance report, you'll see that California spends about $11,700 per full-time student. If you compare that to another populous state like New York, they spend about $13,900 on, on their full-time students. But mm -hmm. California does spend more than the national average, which is around 10200 So how did history play a part in why California has such competitive public schools? Yeah, this was really interesting for me to learn this year. I was talking to C. Judson King, who's a former provost at the University of California system. And he told me that California's great public schools are in part a coincidence of when California happened. So the state joined the union in 1850, which was only 12 years before the Morrill Act was passed, which gave land to states that they could then sell and use that money to create uh, land grant public universities in their states. So some of the first colleges in California were public schools. And if you compare that to states like Massachusetts, New Jersey, Connecticut, New York, there had already been private colleges there for more than a century that had already established their footing. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the community colleges. How competitive are California's two-year schools? They're very good community colleges. There are more than 100 of them throughout the state. California has a really strong transfer in system which encourages students to take their first two years of college at a community college school and then transfer into the University of California. And in 1988, voters in the state passed Proposition 98, which guarantees minimum funding for community colleges and makes sure to sustain them. Mm -hmm. Well, Emma, the University of California system is struggling to house its students. How is the UC system addressing that issue? Yeah, they're by far the only public system struggling with this. It's in part a temporary issue because so many students defer during COVID that now they're coming back to finish their degrees. And at the same time, you still have a lot of students coming in as first years. 
And most public colleges don't guarantee housing for students beyond their first or second year. So the problem is particularly pronounced in California because where most students might just turn to look for housing off campus, maybe rent an apartment, the rental market in California is so difficult and prices are so high that it makes that quite a challenge. So some schools are using hotels to house students temporarily. They're setting up temporary sort of trailer home type housing. Um, but it is definitely an ongoing problem that they're working to solve. Living in a hotel in college actually sounds like a really fun experience. But <laughs> thank you so That's much for joining me today. Are quite nice. <laughs> You're right. Well, thank you for joining me today, Emma. Thank you so much. Yes.